Welcome to Mrs. Taylor's math class. If this is your first time in my classroom, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn on that bell so that you will be notified when I post another video. Now let's begin class. Today's topic is finding the endpoint of a partitioned line segment. Before we get into the details of this video, I'm assuming that you already know how to partition a line segment, but if you don't, you can always go back to my video on how to partition a line segment. I'll leave it up there in the comments above, but let's get started. Given the directed line segment AB, point A is located at negative four, negative five, and point P is located at negative two, negative two. Find B if AP to PB has a ratio of 1 to 3. So just like in my previous video on partitioning a line segment, I like to make a sketch of the graph. I like to put A and B at my endpoints, and then I need to figure out, well, how many parts is it going to be in this particular ratio? And I see that I have to have four equal parts. First question, what is going to be the rule from point A to point P? I'm going to find that out by going to my graph. Starting at point A, I know I have to go up three units and then I have to go to the right two units in order to get to P. So my rule is going to be X plus two and then Y plus three. If I keep with that same rule, I will eventually get to point B. I know that my starting point is gonna be at point P, which is negative two, negative two. And from there, I'm gonna just add on to the X and to the Y to get the additional three points. So the answer for point B or the ordered pair for point B is going to be at four and seven. So we also know that before we have figured out the slope. The slope is go up three units and then to the right two units. Now you can continue on on this graph by going up three to the right two until you get to four and seven. Given the directed line segment AB, Point B is located at 7, 4, and point P is at 4, 3. Find A if AP to AB is 3 to 4. I'm going to translate AP to AB to AP to PB. That means from A to P, there are three parts, and from P to B, there is one part. So we have a three to one ratio. Just like before, I'm going to make a sketch of the graph. I have my line segment from A to B. I need to separate the segment into four equal parts. First question, what is the relationship from B to P? I'm going to go to my graph and I see from B, I need to go down one unit and then three units to the left in order to get to point P. So my rule is going to be X minus three because I have to go to the left and Y minus one because I have to go down. I see that I have to go to the left in order to get to point A. So the last point that I find will be the value or the ordered pair for A. So I'm going to start at point P, which is at four and three. And I'm going to apply my rule X minus three and Y minus one to each one of the ordered pairs until I get to the desired ordered pair. So A is located at negative five and zero. I can use the slope to help me find the three additional points. 
I can start at point P and go down one unit and to the left three units until I get to point A. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, if you need some help with partitioning a line segment, go view my other video in my geometry playlist. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Class is dismissed.